Hello beautiful people, I am Dimi and tech is my passion, I suspect tech is your passion too and of course that you need to reset your device, your Android TV device to the factory settings and uh, why? Of course because you are watching this video but why you may need to do such a thing? For two main reasons, of course the first one is if you want to sell a device you do not want to have all your information, your private info accounts, uh, photos, uh, whatever it is, applications with your logins inside when you sell it and before packaging the device of course you should always reset it so it doesn't have anything other than the original settings coming out of the factory and uh, the second reason is if you ever faced issues with your device you've tried to fix I don't know a login doesn't working or whatever a specific file isn't playing and stuff like that the last uh, your last opportunity to fix that issue it may be to reset everything to factory settings that means of course you will wipe your device it will be as if you gotten it for a, a new device uh, and this may show you if it is an error by your side or of an application or if the device is kaput has failed Okay, let me connect the device and let's see, we have already one of my NVIDIA Silk devices uh, connected but we're gonna change into the other one which I want to reset. In any case, this works on any Android TV device working with uh, running on the Android TV operating system that includes televisions, uh, Sony, Philips, uh, TCL, whatever it is that runs with Android TV OS and of course any streaming device with Android TV OS, NVIDIA Shield TV, Xiaomi Mi Box, Mi TV Stick, uh, the devices in the US from AT&T, ONN, all that uh, goodies. Let's uh, jump into it. So here we are inside my device and uh, it will be the same for whichever device you have, maybe a little different. The important thing is that you need to have <laughs> your remote control, simply select the up button and the right in order to get to that clog uh, button on the top with uh, the settings label go where it says general settings and of course device preferences and now all the way down below where you can find factory reset before doing it i just want to show you guys that on my home screen let's say i have uh, all my custom settings as you can see hulu voodoo uh, Spotify, YouTube Kids for my kids, uh, some stuff in Greek, some in Italian, in English, uh, whatever it is. But if I'm gonna go and select, as I've showed you, device preference settings, device preferences, and all the way down below to factory reset, you can select between full reset and fast reset. Now, I always recommend full reset if you want to sell your device. If you want just to try it out, you can also select fast reset, simply select it, then OK. And now all you need to do is, of course, confirm. This will pop up, of course, just let it uh, finish the work. It will take some time, as I've mentioned, maybe up to two hours, depending on how many stuff you have, but uh, you have nothing to worry about, just simply wait. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, do not forget to go bananas on the like button, dislike if you didn't like it, uh, make sure to subscribe for more Android TV related video, but not only, we love all tech on this amazing channel, follow me on all the social media platforms, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Reddit, at Dimitrology, Dimitrology.com, our website, Dimitrology, the other YouTube channel that we have with more than 130 enthusiasts that love that channel and uh, of course we're gonna be right back on the upcoming video. Thank you all for watching.